Well, hot damn, ladies and gentlemen, this right here is a very interesting piece to wake up to. We ourselves, Joe Merrick, tweeting out the following. Seems Niantic didn't listen to the feedback and have reduced Pokestop distance. Really goes to show, main series, silently listens to feedback and adjusts next gen. Masters, listens to feedback and adjusts. Unite, asks for feedback and plans to adjust. Go, la la, la la, not listening. Seems about right when we're describing Pokemon Go. Better yet, seems about right when we're describing Niantic. And to think I was on the verge of giving them another legitimate chance. Fuck me, right? Now we ourselves an article on Dexerto that is titled, Pokemon Go players are on the brink of quitting as exploration bonuses expire. Niantic's exploration bonuses in Pokemon Go have expired and many in the community are voicing their concerns as the global health situation continues. And there are those thinking of quitting the game. Pokemon Go has been a major title that's kept mobile players engaged and thriving since it launched in 2016. But since many have kept indoors in the last year, Niantic launched quality of life updates to keep the game going without going outside. But a year later, the devs notified their players that these changes were going to get rolled back since they want to restore the focus of Pokemon Go movement and exploration in the real world. This is being met with strong opposition from people who feel their reverts are premature or disappointed that the studio is removing great quality of life features from Pokemon Go. Now you have to clearly laid which exploration bonuses were going to get removed a year after they were brought in to facilitate indoor sessions of Pokemon Go. Exploration bonuses that will be changed. Over the past year, incense effectiveness was increased to attract Pokemon to you more frequently, even if you weren't able to leave home. After the change, this effectiveness will be set at the standard level when you're stationary, and increased effectiveness will kick in when you are moving. Previously, your buddy Pokemon brought you more gifts each day, up to five gifts at once, and up to three times a day. This was because we knew trainers were running low on supplies like Pokeballs and berries to help them catch Pokemon. As we move to encouraging trainers to play outside more, they can continue to receive supplies from spinning Pokestops. After the change, the frequency of these gifts from Buddy Pokemon will be reduced. Previously, Pokestop and Gym Interaction distances were increased to enable people to engage them from further away. After this change, the distance will revert back to the standard distance when it makes sense in different places, though may be increased during future events and as part of certain features. Overall, players were able to make incredible strides on their accounts due to these changes. It was a solid adaptation for the popular mobile game and got people leveling up from home. But there are people who are begging for Niantic to reconsider based on the current world health challenges. If they do still take off the changes, I honestly don't really want to play the game as much anymore. User someone hasn't used this said, These changes have made a big impact on the game as we know it, and if they take them back, I honestly think they'll lose money. Wheelchair user here, user Bucky Hermit said, After five years and hitting level 50 and seeing all the previous wheelchair access problems disappear with the increased Pokestop slash gym range, I'm now considering retiring from the game after August 1st if the increased range goes away. Niantic wants Pokemon Go to return to its roots, but people don't agree that the time is right yet. Additionally, there were plenty of people whose gameplay was purely more enjoyable and accessible with the exploration bonuses. It's unclear if the devs plan to extend or adapt the bonuses, but Pokemon Go players want them to at least revisit the possibility. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a very, very solid testament as to how out of touch Niantic seems to be with their audience. Hell, 
even some of their biggest fans, i.e. Pokemon Go YouTubers, were clearly against the reduction of the interaction at distance, but Niantic didn't care. They decided to scale that shit back anyways. Good job, Niantic. You clowned yourself yet again. And I think I was on the verge of giving the game another legitimate chance after the great Pokemon Go Fest event that took place a couple of short weeks ago, and it seems like that they really decided to screw the pooch on this one, because this right here was clearly, clearly opposed by the majority of the Pokemon Go community, and Niantic decided to not give a flying fig about it, and decided to go through with it anyways. It shouldn't surprise anyone at this point, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, Niantic isn't exactly known for high IQ moves. They're not exactly known for being in touch with their audience, and they're definitely not known for their communication, or I should say lack thereof. That's what they're more known for, but... You know what, ladies and gentlemen, I really, really don't know what else I can say here at this point. Just, holy shit. Like, this right here is an extremely tone-deaf move on Niantic's end, but it does not surprise me at the same time. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it here for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for your time as well. Have yourself a damn good one, and I'll see you guys in the next video.